Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? x raised to power x equals to 3 raised to power 2x plus 27. From here, let's write the right answer here on the law of indices. And this becomes x raised to power x equals to 3 raised to power 2x times 3 raised to power 27. So this follows from the law of indices. And in the next step, let's divide both sides by 3 raised to power 2x. Also divide this side by 3 raised to power 2x. And then 3 raised to power 2x cancel each other here. Such that here we have, we can write this as x raised to power x over 3 square. Then raised to power x. We can separate this like this from law of indices which is equal to here, 3 raised to the power 27. And in the next step, we have power of x, power of x. So we can take it out from the law of indices, and this can be written as x over 3 square is 9, then raised to the power x here, which is equal to 3 raised to the power 27. And uh, in the next step, Let's multiply both power by 1 over 9. So we multiply this power by 1 over 9. We multiply this power by 1 over 9. And uh, here we have this power times 1 over 9 here. Also, we have this power times 1 over 9 here. Then in the next step, this power multiply and we can write it as x over 9. Then raised to power x over 9. Then which is equal to here. 9 can go here 1. 9 go here 3. So this can be written as 3 raised to power 3. And from here we have a number raised to power same number. Also we have a number raised to power same number. So and uh, that this one we have a raised to power b and is equal to when we have a raised to power a and we have b raised to power b so we can say this is a equals to b so from here we can now equate the power we have x we can equate either the power or the base we have x over 9 then equals to 3 from here so therefore this is same thing as 3 over 1 when we cross multiply we have x equals to 3 times 9 so therefore so x equals to, better we write our terms like this. So x equals to 3 times 9 and therefore x equals to 27 from here. Thank you for watching. And we can test whether the value of x we get satisfy the equation. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also turn the notification bell on. See you in the next class and bye for now.